Hi, just a quick video. I'm running a Raspberry Pi Android 13. Um, this one will work with touchscreen, but you it doesn't come with extra cable. So you will have to plug in uh, this directly to this and then plug that uh, You have to plug, in other words, you have to plug a power to it. So let me show you about the touch screen. See, you could go up. The touch screen does work. But the thing is that you have to plug the HDMI and you have to plug the power. And then you also have to plug in the touch screen. So it, they only give you a cable for touch screen. But they didn't give you the power for that. Same thing with this one too. This one, you have to connect uh, both the touch screen, the power, you know, for this to work. And then you plug the one below it. Okay. So that's what I find out because this one, it will boot up, but it will a bunch of glitching and sound craziness. This one does not have any glitching, but then the touch screen doesn't work. So I thought that the touch screen was broken, but you know, as you can see, let me zoom in more. You could open up Zen Pinball and you could play your, your pinball game here. But this one, I don't have a speaker plug into it, so it don't, it don't have any sound. But let me flip it around so you can see what's behind it. Okay, so this is what it looked like. And so this one is called a touch. So this one you plug into Raspberry Pi. And then this one is power. So when I first started, I didn't plug the power. It was getting power from the, the touch uh, touch port and they're all mic, uh, micro USB, okay? So, and then this is a standard one. And it worked just fine, it's a 4.3. Let me flip this around so you don't have to look upside down. This is a 4.3, uh, eight by 480. They're all, they're all 800 by 480. And this come with a built-in touch so HDMI and this is have a good IPS screen which you any direction you look at is good so it's a good uh, it's a good one to have and then you could control it by the menu up down menu stuff like that and I believe it does come with the speaker so you could plug uh, amplifier to it instead of to the Pi you could plug it directly to here and I this one have a built-in uh, come with a speaker so you plug that in I got a video on how to put this together so if you want you can look at that video as well I'll put the link below it and that's pretty much it I just want to update because uh the last couple of video I've been telling you guys that this do not work but uh, it does work but it's just that uh, you have to uh, plug in the extra power so let's go ahead. Oh, I don't want to put that one. So since this doesn't have sound, it doesn't matter which one. Okay, let's play Star Wars since it doesn't have sound. Uh, not sure which one. There's one that I'd like to play, but I forgot which one is it. Hmm. I think it's the clone one. But they're all pretty good. I don't remember which one anymore based on pictures. But one thing good about it is you could flip the screen by by set up your button to make it automatic flip. So if you flip the screen, see, I just press the one button and it flipped the screen. So one thing cool about it is that you could set it up where you could have, you could play a vulgarity or you could play a horizontal. You just have to build a little bit, a little bit of a control button here and another control button here. So player one, player two, and you can use either one of the controller. Because I have plugged two controller and I could use either one. Oop, I forgot I could use my flipper. It's my clipper. 
Where's my second flipper? <laughs> it's hard to play with one hand recording. But yeah, it, it worked great. So you could use a controller or you could use your... Play with one hand, pinball. Ah, I messed up. All right, hopefully this helped. And I'll give you the link where I got this one and also got and where I got this one. All right, later.